everyone, it's Bretta Riches from runforfit.com and today I'm going to be talking to you about how a runner, particularly runners who wear running shoes that have a very high stacked cushioned heel, how these runners are at a greater risk of getting an Achilles tendon injury. Now if you do a lot of your walking and a lot of your running in running shoes with a very high heel to toe offset, so basically your running shoe positions your foot where your foot's at an angle because the shoe would have a very thickly cushioned under heel. And the problem with this is that if you look at how the foot is positioned, your Achilles tendon actually loses length in a way. It becomes progressively shorter. This is why a lot of East Africans who spend most of their years running barefoot, a lot of these runners actually have a longer Achilles tendon. What happens when you run barefoot or you walk and run in minimalist shoes the achilles tendon has the ability to maintain a very natural length versus if you were to walk and run in very high thick cushion running shoes as you can begin to realize that this over time allows for a little bit of a shorter achilles tendon the, the problem with having a shorter achilles tendon is that there's essentially less room for elastic energy to be stored within the achilles tendon what you really want is you want a longer achilles tendon not by doing stretches but by avoiding wearing running shoes that essentially look like a woman's high-heeled running shoe and studies have also found that this increases tension force on the achilles tendon if you run and walk in a running shoe that has a very high heel so there's a study which i will link below by wearing at l and the researchers found that heeled running shoes increased tensile loads on the Achilles tendon, whereby high tensile loads is very heavily linked to Achilles tendon injury. Basically, the definition of a tensile load when it's pertaining to the Achilles tendon is that tensile load is a sheer stretching force on the Achilles tendon that may actually pull or tear the fibers within the Achilles tendon. Now, when you run with a heel strike in thickly cushioned running shoes, when the foot swings out, when the foot sets up to heel strike, this tugs on the Achilles tendon. This is how the Achilles tendon rapidly stretches. And this rapid stretching of the Achilles tendon may also increase tensile load forces on the tendon as well. And this is why heel strike running is a major risk factor. So there's an ultrasonic device that a lot of researchers use to see exactly the physical or elastic changes that's going on in the Achilles tendon during running and walking. And what this ultrasonic device measures is acoustic velocity. So basically, like I just said, changes in the tensile loading and the tensile length within the Achilles tendon. This is what this ultrasonic device measures. And this will tell you what forces are exerted on the Achilles tendon and if these forces are a risk factor for Achilles tendon tearing or rupture. The study compared barefoot conditions versus shod conditions and the shoe with using the study were thick high heeled running shoes and what was examined is how these two conditions exerted forces on the Achilles tendon. What early studies have found with using this ultrasonic device was that high acoustic velocity measured within the Achilles tendon during running or walking was correlated with tension forces exerted on the Achilles tendon. Therefore, the higher the acoustic velocity during running and walking, the greater the tensile forces that is exerted on the Achilles tendon. And therefore, the greater the fragility the Achilles tendon becomes. Unsurprisingly, the researchers found that peak acoustic velocity within the Achilles tendon was significantly higher in the people who wore heeled running shoes as compared to those who walked barefoot. And one of the reasons why there is greater Achilles tendon tensile force in the high heeled shoe condition was due to the fact that walking or running in these types of footwear, so very high heeled cushioned footwear, resulted in several basic changes in gait. So basically how the legs and feet move as compared to the barefoot condition. Basically, walking in a heeled running shoe cause unnatural movements and positions of the foot ankle complex, which place more tension 
or tensile forces on the Achilles tendon. The significance of this data is that it's very obvious that cushion-heeled running shoes offers inadequate therapeutic benefits for those suffering from Achilles tendon injuries, and that the foot is better off being in a more natural state where the Achilles tendon can adjust naturally rather than being forced into extreme positions that causes it to be shorter. This is why upping your barefoot activity or avoiding wearing very high-heeled running shoes will halt the progression of any kind of Achilles tendon injury. That so if you're struggling with Achilles tendon injury, you should avoid wearing high-heeled running shoes for obvious reasons and instead adopt a more barefoot lifestyle or make sure you're always running and wearing minimal shoes and a much smaller heel-to-toe differential. So you wanna make sure that the heel in the toe area is almost level or better yet, as level as possible. So you, what you wanna do is you wanna aim for a zero dropped minimalist shoe, and this will allow natural lengthening of the Achilles tendon and a more natural function of the Achilles tendon. For more information about forefoot running versus the dangers of heel strike running, please head on over to my blog, runforefoot.com, where you will also find information on barefoot running as well. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay updated on the latest research on running biomechanics. Have fun out there on the roads. Bye for now.